What's up guys? It's me and I'm back again. And um as you can see, I am exhausted. Oh my god, I've been recording all day. I Then it's editing and then uploading and whatever. So when this video comes out, there's already two videos out. I just uploaded it and it's out already. Um, it was um, Dark of Vlogs, number 13. <laughs> Your girl's doing it. And um, what else? The Get Ready With Me for this look. <laughs> and let me tell you, <laughs> Your girl is an oily girl, and um, I tried something different that I have never tried before. And um, well, as you're gonna see in the video, I, or maybe not, because a lot of my footage that didn't get to even be recorded because my phone died. Um, but what I did was I put the first layer of foundation. And then I set it with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. And then I did a second um, coat of foundation. And then I did the concealer. And I baked my T zone. And everywhere where I would get oily. And surprisingly, I didn't get oily at all. At all, at all. And I did my makeup. Mm, Let me know. It was like. 2.30 I finished yeah like around 2.30 and it's right now 11 o'clock and I know I always aim to put my videos out there before 10 but guys the girl was tired and I was editing editing so slow um but I was able to upload um Jerka vlogs before 10 at least I wanted to give you something before 10 but um Always. yeah so anyway oh. today is Jerrica Talks and um today I want to talk about birth control and um the birth control I've tried and used and could tell you about and um explaining why I haven't tried certain others so currently right now I have the next banon. The next banon is the um, implant on your arm. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's right here and it's a stick. Let me see, maybe if I can make it poke out. Can you see that? Yeah. It's disgusting. But um, I got this done last November. Um, they're good for three years. But with recent studies, they said that it could stay in four years. Um, the side effects um, is like any other um, birth control. Um, this is hormonal, so you can gain weight or you can lose weight. Um, for some, they may, may get um, bad cramps. Um, some have um, heavy periods. Some don't get periods at all. Um, it could cause depression if you already have depression. Like, it's ifs. Like me, I have depression and I feel like this has not done anything um, to make it worse. Um, what's up with me and the um, 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 but like, there we go again. But yeah, the only side effect, oh, and, and there's another side effect, low sex drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The worst side effect anyone can have. And, um, I, with this, I've have no periods I've gotten um, light bleeding twice since I've had it and the first time it was light bleeding for like two days and then the second time it was light bleeding for one day 
and that's it so that's a plus for me that was like one of the biggest things that I really enjoyed of pregnancy was not having a period because I suffer from bad cramps so that was great for me um, I have not gained any weight I'm still at my weight that I've always been so I have had no problems with this at all but there's um, others that have had complications and this goes with anything you take any kind of medicine anything that you try they could have side effects I've seen um, testimonials where people's implant will like travel somewhere else and they will have to take it out but I haven't had that issue the only issue I have experienced with this is a low sex drive and that is really bad I'm a type of person that I've always had a high sex drive so um, it's basically learning how to basically balance it and um, not listen to what your body's saying no 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 it's basically like whatever you don't run me I'm gonna do this so that's that I have also tried um, birth control pills your girl one I can't even take antibiotics on time what makes me think that I can take um, birth control on time because with birth control you have to take it every day at the same time so it's yeah. like hard but I managed to do it with my son after I had my son um, I was able to take the birth control pills because I didn't want anything else. I want to give that shot. So I was always setting alarms on my phone. And I was doing well. But I ended up pregnant with my daughter. Victoria! So, how effective was that? Hmm. Not so effective. Um, with the birth control pills, I still had a normal period every month. Um, it was like no heavy bleeding. It was like basically no side effects for me on that. But just that I was that 1% that got pregnant. So that was... Uh, um, let me see what other... I tried the depo. Um, the depo shot I tried when I was a teenager. Listen here. I hated it. I've only had it, is you get one shot every three months, I believe. I only went that one shot. And let me explain. That is hormonal as well. So you could gain weight or lose weight. And I gained weight. I remember when I did the depo, I was weighing like 150. Like 150, probably 155. And then after the depo, I had shot up to like 180 and I had gained so much weight and after the depo that was my main weight was 180 I didn't lose no further weight after that which kind of sucked but I accepted it um, but that was one of the main things that I did not like I had gained so much weight that's why I got off and another reason why I got off the depo was because it was intensifying my depression so I didn't last long with the depo um, okay, so those are the only three birth controls I've honestly tried myself. Now, I have never tried an IUD, the ring, the nouveau ring, yeah, or whatever, because I have a problem with having something inside. And um, why I say that is because I've suffered ever since I have had children. Um, I've suffered a lot from UTIs as you can see I was hospitalized not too long ago with a kidney infection and um, people that get a lot of like UTIs or like yeast infections and stuff like that like me personally I've only had one yeast infection all my life and at that time I was pregnant with my son um, you tend to get those two during pregnancy but since I always had a problem with UTIs I felt like that was not ideal because um, you could get infections inside and the more infections you get inside the more scarring it causes in your in 
inside and that's not good also um especially if you have a spouse with a certain um how do i put this in youtube friendly terms if you have a, a spouse or a boyfriend or a girlfriend that has a strap on or whatever that is of a very nice size um it could hurt them because it's like pointing it's like if you look at the iud it's like it's shaped like an arrow and then the tip is what hurts them when they're penetrating and also it feels uncomfortable for you and since um my significant other is well endowed as well um that was definitely not an option because i didn't want that to interfere with our personal so you have so time you have so that was one re that, that was basically the main reason why i really didn't want to do the iud or the ring or anything because of infections and scarrings and because of the sexual issues that it can bring um so yeah i just want to bring this out here so you know we could talk about options that people have um also another source of birth control that they do sell um over the counter is like a film i think it's called vcf vagina contraception film it's, and they sell it and it comes like a box i believe of like 20 um and we tried that after we had my daughter, the baby, the last baby that we had, before I was able to get in to see a doctor. And um, what you do is you remove like the film, like the, the backing of the film, and you have to basically put it over your finger and you have to insert it as far as you can and then like basically remove. Now, if you wait too long, the film starts to melt, and when you pull your finger out, you're pulling out the film that's already melted on your finger, and it's not doing anything. And if you do go have sexual intercourse afterwards, you might get an oopsie baby, and that's a no-no. So the most effective way I found, and guys don't laugh, I found to use a pencil and put it over the pencil like if you want to just put like a like a saran wrap and then put the film over and then carefully insert and just put as far as you can and then come out since the pencil is so thin you're not bringing anything out it's gonna stick to the walls and that seemed to be very effective and it was effective for me I was using that for quite a quite a while like about a month like a month and a half or so and we didn't have an oopsie baby um, so yeah, so that is another great option. Also, there is the Plan B pill. Um, they could be kind of costly. I know in New York City they're around. They can range anywhere from forty to sixty bucks. And what is the Plan B pill? It's like after the day after having intercourse, you hurry and you take it, and it'll prevent baby. So that is really effective as well from what i hear i've never personally tried it but i've had um friends that have tried it and it worked well for them so basically is you have to find whatever works well for you um for me at the moment what works well for me is the next one on i cannot rave enough about this and i have met my um my downers that be like oh my god you're crazy you have that and you've never seen the videos with the girls having problems and their arms is all purple black and blue after the I was like you know what everyone's different and the only thing that scares me actually about the next one is when they have to take it out because it's implanted inside so that means they will have to do like a little incision and then take it out I'm pretty sure the incision is gonna be really small but I'm a chicken and I overthink the little things you know so I'm like eh, I'm not too excited but it is what it is 
um, when they did put it in, um, a lot of people have asked me like what was the process of the next put on. And basically they, you know, cleanse the area and they give you a, like a needle with um, anesthesia and they numb like the area and they cleanse it again and then they would it has a special needle with a thick steel tip and it's an opening and that's where they have the next neuron come out of like when they squeeze it in the next neuron comes out and it's a certain way because this is where it has to be at so they usually um insert it from like an like another place up here so it could go in that area it's just weird did it hurt yeah even with the anesthesia i felt the pain it was not pleasant at all but it wasn't intolerable so yeah that's all for today guys i just felt like you know um i do have teenagers that follow and are subscribed to me so i just wanted to put this out there so they know some options as well if they um don't know or they have strict parents that don't talk about it I want this to be a place where we can talk about everything and that was my um, input in that kind of situation of birth controls I just gave you guys like a wide range of birth controls and my opinions on the ones I've used like I said everyone is different so you have to find the one that suits you the best so with that being said guys, remember to give the video a thumbs up because it helps your girl. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So happy to have you with us. And if you enjoy my content and would love to see more, remember to subscribe and become part of my YouTube family. And yeah, I can't wait. Um, to my loyal subscribers you guys know i don't really have to tell this all the time but you guys know that i love you guys to death you guys are my a1s and always supportive so kisses and until the next director talk